All right, you ready for a sensory overload? Check out this map of all of the current warnings and advisories and watches across the country. We have blizzard warnings, winter storm warnings, high wind warnings along the west coast. It extends out to the country's midsection and all the way into New England. The only spot dealing with quiet weather right now is the southeast coast. Right now, there's really nothing going on there. But across the northern tier of the country, we have part of our storm system, actually, with winter storm warnings, blizzard warnings up across the northern plains. You have wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings for the cold. You've got a ton of wind happening down across the southwestern U.S. And then you head out to the northeast and we have winter weather advisories uh, and some winter storm warnings for northern New England. So here is our storm system. And then the one back here across the west is the second system. This system is the one that's producing a little bit of severe weather across the Ohio Valley and then a lot of snow and ice through the Great Lakes. And that snow and ice band extends now all the way into New England. Now, for us here in Western Mass, it's only just getting started. Sprinkles, flurries here and there, but some heavier precipitation off to our southwest is going to be rolling in over the next few hours. Any mixing is going to be short lived. We're going to go over to all snow with temperatures falling, especially after sunset. And then that snow becomes heavy at times through maybe 10, 11 p.m. At that point, we'll start seeing a transition to an icy mixture from south to north. So in Hamden County, southern Berkshire County, we'll start going over to sleet and possibly even some rain with temperatures hovering slightly above freezing. Meanwhile, farther off to the north and getting into the hill towns with temperatures around or below 32, it's more of an icy mixture, snow, sleet and freezing rain. All this lasting overnight. As we get closer to sunrise, all that mess starts to get lighter and more scattered, eventually tapering off. But surface temperatures, even in the lower valley, will start dropping. So any ponding out there, any wetness to the roads may start to become icy by the early morning commute, even across the greater Springfield area. So going to the future cast, we have light breezes tonight. We've got snow that gets started. And then again, the pink is that icy mixture that starts taking over just before midnight. We go out into the overnight hours. It's a lot of icy precipitation until you hit the lower valley. Then it looks like it might just be a few hours of plain rain. But as we get closer to sunrise and temperatures continue to fall and they actually keep dropping throughout the day Thursday, road conditions start going downhill. A lot of that pretreatment potentially washing away. So you want to really be careful tomorrow morning when you head out the door. Uh, just check, you know, the sidewalk, see if it's icy. If it is, then the roads will probably be icy as well. Now, during the daytime on Thursday, there's not much actually falling. Temperatures will hover close to 30. We'll have breezes out of the northeast. Then we get some scattered, I would say, freezing rain tomorrow evening that's short lived, but could produce some icy conditions for a few hours. Temperatures will rise overnight into Friday morning. It gets windy and then an Arctic cold front sweeps through with a big drop in temperatures. So as far as snow and sleet, we're not expecting much. Just a couple of inches with the most up around the Route 2 corridor. In terms of ice, the hills could potentially see upwards of two uh, tenths of an inch. The valley, it looks like more of a glaze, but still some big travel issues. And in terms of temperatures, it is cold right now, but it's going to be getting colder heading into Thursday. But look at that temperature swing, 32 in Westfield, 72 where I'm from in Philadelphia. It's going to be kind of rough looking at those temperatures tomorrow. So an icy day tomorrow, first alert weather day. Friday, it's windy. Gusts could top 40 miles an hour. Saturday, it's cold with a chance for flurries and a snow shower. We're watching another system early next week from Monday night to Tuesday, another wintry mess possible. And we could see that again at the end of the week. Chris and Mary, back to you.